Thailand is one of the most popular destinations in the world for travelers. Visitors from different cultures and countries head here to sample all that the land of smiles has to offer. But planning a trip properly isn't as simple as buying a plane ticket and booking a hotel. Visitors to Thailand should also be aware of some things that they should avoid doing. In addition to traditions that you may not be familiar with, understanding what isn't socially acceptable, as well as being aware of potential scams and safety issues, is a key to ensuring you get the most out of your vacation. In this video, we listed some of the important but not widely known things you need to know to avoid in Thailand. Drink bottled water. There is no particular organization that recommends those traveling to Thailand to drink bottled water. But that being said, even the locals tend to steer clear of drinking water out of the sink. Just to be safe, we suggest you to do the same. Diseases like typhoid and hepatitis A can also be contracted through contaminated water in Thailand. Have multiple forms of identification. By law, visitors to Thailand are required to carry a form of identification on them at all times. This does not necessarily have to be your passport, and you might never get stopped and ask for identification. It is because of this, however, that we suggest never giving your passport to anyone when renting a motorcycle, which is a common form of insurance. Instead, offer them a student identification card, license, or a copy of your passport. Choose your street food wisely. Of course, hit the streets and find some good eats. However, be aware that not all of the vendors in Thailand are concerned with cleanliness. It should be fairly obvious which food stall visitors should feel free to order from and which ones are better off avoiding altogether. Do not drive a motorcycle in Bangkok. Many tourists come to Thailand and assume that they can drive a motorcycle simply because everyone else does. While this is certainly a convenient and easy way to get around the country, we do not suggest renting one. Thailand is home to the world's dangerous roads, and many of these accidents involve motorcycles. And Bangkok's crazy roads and frequently reckless drivers are not the place to find out whether or not you can drive a motorcycle. Crossbody bags are key. Visitors should be wary of their most precious belongings at all times. The number of street crimes, including theft, robbery, and car break-ins, has significantly dropped in the past few years. However, it is always good to ensure your bag is securely fastened around the whole of your body, just in case. Bypass animal attractions. Animal tourism is a big business in Thailand, but tourists are often unaware of the systematic torture these animals must endure before they are able to be ridden, paint pictures, dance, or whatever activity it is they are forced to do for spectators. We suggest you research an attraction before visiting or avoid animal attractions altogether. automatically trust your taxi driver. Many people hop in a cab, strike up a friendly conversation with the driver, and then find out that the destination they want to visit is actually closed for the day. Oh no! But fortunately, the driver knows a good alternative, and as he's your new best buddy, he'll take you there instead. You are going to be scammed if anything like this happens. Don't take a stranger's word that a temple or attraction or business is closed. The same applies to random strangers who strike up a conversation with you on the streets and then offer to help you. If you want help, ask for it. Avoid assistance from anyone who randomly approaches you in the street offering it. Don't talk about the royal family. Best not to. 
unless you're being 100% super positive. Even asking a Thai why you can't offer personal opinions about the king or other royals will get you into trouble, or at best make the person you're talking to feel uncomfortable. Jail terms for Nice Majest are more severe than for murder. Be sure to cover up in temples. If you're planning on visiting any temples that are royal palaces, remember that your body should be covered, including shoulders and knees. This means no short skirts, shorts, or tank tops. Larger temples will have signs on the display mentioning the dress code. And there's usually somewhere visitors can borrow a sarong if required. You won't see signs in small village temples, but the same rules do apply. Don't point with your feet. You can point with your hands, no problem. Thais do that all the time. No news story would be complete without a photo of a victim pointing at the accused. But your feet are the lowest part of your body, and as such, shouldn't be used to point out at anything. Don't casually move your foot to point at a person, animal, or object. Don't put your feet up on the furniture. It is very common to come home, kick off your shoes, sit on the sofa, turn on the TV, and put your feet up on a table. But that is not considered polite in Thailand. Whilst no one will be spying on you in your hotel room, when you're out and about or traveling by bus, train, or plane, try to avoid putting your feet up. That means don't rest them on the back of the chair in front of you. Don't put them on armrests. Again, it's unlikely that anyone will say anything, but there is a good chance someone will take a photo. The next thing you know, you're being a passenger shamed on Thai Facebook. And if that gets shared enough, overseas media will for sure pick it up. Take your shoes off. As a rule, take your shoes off whenever you enter anyone's home or a temple. The simple way to avoid making this mistake is to see if there are any shoes or sandals by the entrance or door. If there are, then remove yours too. Many places also provide slippers for visitors to wear inside of their outdoor shoes. Don't assume drivers will stop at a crosswalk or zebra crossing. This catches people out all the time. They see white painted stripes on the road and just assume that it must indicate a place to safely cross the road. Newbie mistake, as Thai drivers don't see it that way. So that being said, don't expect traffic to give way to you and stop if you decide to walk across a road using a pedestrian car sink. Many people are injured or die each year after being hit whilst using a zebra crossing. In early 2022, there was a very high-profile case of a doctor crossing the road out at the hospital where she worked, who was hit and killed by a motorbike while crossing the road on a zebra crossing. The rider was an off-duty policeman who was speeding. He was sentenced to 15 months in jail and a 5,000 baht fine. Hands off the monks. Don't touch monks. This mainly applies to women, as women are not allowed to come into physical contact with Buddhist monks. So ladies, if you are in a situation where you want to give something to a monk, don't hand it directly. Put it down so they can pick it up. A monk will do the same if he wants to give anything to a woman. Please remember this if you are making a donation or giving alms at a temple. Visitors might also encounter monks when traveling on the subway and SkyTrain in Bangkok. Seats near the doors are often reserved for either pregnant women, old folks, or monks. But if you see a monk sitting there and the seat next to him is vacant, don't sit in it if you're a woman. Respect Buddha statues and images. Many people in the West have a Buddha image in their home for decoration. Buddha image is often co-opted as a cool tattoo or even a theme for an Asian bar or restaurant. 
But this is not acceptable if you are a Thai Buddhist. When you are visiting temples, don't disrespect Buddha by posing for photos with your back to a Buddha image. Don't imitate the post of Buddha for a photo, and definitely don't climb on any Buddha statues. Please keep in mind that it is always best to research the destinations you wish to visit, as well as any important cultural or religious distinctions before you go. Your vacation will be improved without a doubt. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a comment and take part in the discussion.